Hi guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is just a very uh, quick, uh, no it's not a quick actually, I'm going to do a page by page um, flip through of the latest Daphne's Diary. It was on my doorstep when I came back for, uh, from my rounds this Saturday morning. Um, and I think it's in the shops probably midweek this week, so I thought we'd give you a, a quick sneaky peek. Um, so this is issue number five. Um, and there you go, I shall have a, that's the back, and the front has just got all these lovely blues and greens, this lovely summer scene. So, as it starts out, it opens up with summer, it's a visual feast really, of summer loveliness. And. Uh, if anyone knows that it, um, come across it before it features different crafts people from around the world people who do have lovely shops with all things crafty and vintage in them projects to do beautiful images that you can use or just just admire really this lovely one here I think I think was featured in an earlier um, I think oh, I got it on a card or a little poster from uh, one of the earlier issues and I was going to save it for the front of a one of my journals and I think that would be nice as a journaling or even to be honest just cut out and put onto a journal on its own anyway um, I don't know if you notice as well it's got all the lovely edging so you could always like to take this out and decoupage it onto something else and then use this as an edging around a beautiful page it contains poems one here called the butterfly if you can see it really beautifully illustrated fun project should you wish to indulge in those or to make a three-dimensional apple uh, I've just started I've just picked up some vintage uh, postage stamps and um, have, you may have noticed in a few of my journals I've just uh, popped them in and I will be doing a lot more but I love Look at that beautiful image just there. That'd be a really nice journal cover in itself, wouldn't it? But uh, that hummingbird. I want a hummingbird for my the project I'm doing at the moment. Anyway, moving on. Beautiful picture. It's from Cornwall. There's a family we love visiting Cornwall. Particularly in the spring, spring or, or autumn half term, but it's quietened down a bit. It's a lovely, lovely part of the world to visit. This is called um, the Eastern Walled Garden. Hmm. Just gives you different ideas of places to visit if you like gardens, which we do. Summer recipes, but what a delightful way just to. Um, illustrate some uh, salad ideas, salad recipe ideas, should you wish to, should you wish to indulge. Interesting article on um, a place called Arezzo is it? Italy's antique cabinet. Beautiful images and I particularly like this cheeky little vesper it's got tucked away there. I love that, love that, that, that little, little, little Tea cup and saucer, sort of thing that makes me happy. Don't know why. The cutting newspaper. Okay. Oh yes, this black and white city poster is a project they popped in there, uh, complete with little maps, a city map of London, Amsterdam. Berlin and Paris. I can see these being tea dyed in one of my little journals. I've got a vintage theme travel journal I'm working on at the moment. Could be quite nice in there. <gasps> oh, anything better than blue and white is blue, white and yellow. What a gorgeous image that is. Uh, so let's talk about a collection of handmade ceramic apples aren't they gorgeous It'll be an interesting read I'm sure oh is there anything 
prettier than a, a table laid out for a quintessentially English afternoon tea. In my long list of uh, future projects is an afternoon tea journal. <laughs> this is, this reminds me that I need to get on with it. Beautiful. We've got recipes for sandwiches. A poem on dance with a beautiful illustration. And something else that makes me really smile. This is mine inside is or are sunflowers. That's a beautiful image again. Cycling through, so this is a place in Austria for a cycling tour. A little bit of review on that. Oh, I love the old bicycle. Oh, I love that. I'm talking about bicycles at the moment as well. Oh my word, the butterfly. Look at that. Feast your eyes on that lovely image. And this is just priceless. Absolutely priceless. Beautiful. I would love to read. Oh, that's lovely. To go in a journal. Somebody who loves reading books, just to, um, in fact, I have an idea for a friend for one of those. And I thought I may I go and get it. Hold on. Keep you waiting. But I picked this book up, it's in an earlier video, but I just thought as a gift for a friend I may just um, make her a reading journal from this because it's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I just wanted to say, because this was actually, um, it had a dust jacket on it and I picked it up in a charity shop and it's always worth taking the dust jacket off and checking because sometimes you get a nice surprise and find that's actually the cover uh, too. Isn't that beautiful? But I was thinking um, about doing a reading journal for her just to uh, keep her favourite quotes and a list of all the things that she reads because she's a prolific reader. And I think she'd enjoy that. And I'd enjoy making it for her, to be fair. I love this luggage. From trunk to trolley. Baggage through the ages. What a lovely, lovely article. Oh, then you've got a little snippet about Louis Vuitton. Of course, the Blackberry. Tablecloth made from cheerful fabrics. What a lovely idea. That's a fabulous idea. Um, oh, isn't this nice? Lovely shabby chic. A pastel palace. Okay, is this lady? I think she's in the Netherlands. Imagine surrounding your little home yourself with all these lovely treasures. I can imagine it's the sort of thing you can do after the children are a bit older. My Kitchen Drawer by Doris Robertson. What fun is that? I wish my kitchen drawer looked that interesting. But it doesn't. But it doesn't. Made by me, foundation powder. Interesting. These little. Think of people who you don't get on with as well as others and accept that it's okay that you can't be best friends with everyone. Oh, okay. Go back to a hilarious memory with a friend, a family member or loved one. It can be over the phone too. All interesting things to do on a daily basis to help up, up with your 
boost your positivity. I think that's what that's all about. Let's have a closer look a bit later. Make a strawberry pom pom. And that's it. The following, the next Daffy's Diary will appear on the 29th of August. Oh wow, summer will be nearly over by then. So that's it, my lovelies. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed having a look through that. I will keep you informed when the next one comes in. I think you can get it online if you can't get it um, where you live. Um, so that's it. If you like what you see, please um, subscribe to my channel. I'm on Instagram and as well under Just Any Journaling and on Facebook. And I try to put posts on there every day. Um, that's my aim. Um, and it will be filled soon because I'm trying to um, stock up for my Etsy store that will be opening in the next few weeks. So any sort of uh, progress on that will be on there. So yeah, like, subscribe and look forward to seeing you again. Take care guys. Bye bye. Bye.